What a night here at Richmond Park in the Dublin Derby. It's finished St. Patrick's Athletic 2, Bohemians 2, one of the games of the season. I mentioned at the start of the match about one of the most famous rivalries in Irish football and it did not fail to deliver tonight. I'm here with the past director of football, Ger O'Brien, to try and unpack things. St. Pat's 2 up through Billy King and Jay McClelland. But Ross Tierney and Promise Omashir got the goals back for Bohemians. Both teams went for it at the end. We had loads of yellow cards. We had great crowd in tonight and we had a brilliant game of football just a month before. They'll meet again less than a month in the FAI Cup final at the Aviva. Yeah, Jay, yeah, absolutely had everything. And I think up to 60 minutes, Pat's were the better side and, you know... They started the second half really well. They got the goal to go two up, and I thought he probably would have controlled the game a little bit more. And I think that's what probably Stephen O'Donnell would be a little bit disappointed about that he didn't control the game. I thought it would have been kind of similarities to the to the Dundalk game, and when we got the tour goal of just how we controlled it. But you know, in fairness to to Bowles, they capitalised on a mistake from Paddy, an uncharacteristic mistake from Paddy, got them back into the game, and they just used that momentum to go get a second goal. And the last 15, 20 minutes of football was absolutely compelling. It was huge. You know, attacks, there was cards, as you said, there was mistakes, and, and, and the crowd added to it, so it was a really good game. Yeah, we're going to try and unpack things, and we're going to start with the opening goal for St. Pat's. It came through Billy King, who's been in such good form. He's actually scored in his last three appearances in this ground in that goal, both games against Dundalk and tonight against Bohemians. A sixth league goal this season for Billy Jair, and what a way for St. Pat's to open the evening. Yeah, listen, we spoke about it, we spoke about it at half-time. You know, it's a poor... It's a poor mistake from from Ball's point of view between Andy Lyons and Talbot and and Billy's you, you know you know Billy Billy's got onto it and it's a great strike but it's just literally a clearance you know just a clearance up the pitch and and and, and you know Pat's managed to capitalise and, and got themselves in front. Yeah, heavy back pass and Talbot does his best to try and clear it. Takes a heavy second touch and it's back and again Billy just in such good confident form at the moment as well. Once he got the chance, he he wanted to to smash it and that's what he did. Yeah, and, and listen, and that's it. You know, it was a gr it was a great start from a Pat's point of view. It, it, a poor goal to give away from from Ball's point of view, but you know, it, it set the tempo to the game. Yeah, speaking of great starts, and Pat's had a great start to the second half in the form of Jay McClellan, who did have a couple of chances in the opening forty-five, hit the crossbar as well. But uh, he was the man to put the Saints two up just a couple of moments into the second period. Yeah, and again, it's so early into the second half, Jamie. It's just Pat started really well in the second half again on the front foot. You can see. You know, trying to forge, but what a ball by, by, by Chris Forrester. Good ball across, and, and Jason found himself in the back post, and, and he got themselves two up. And at that stage, to be honest with you, I, I actually thought we probably would have went on to dominate the, the, the second half. Yeah, the Forrester pass, which I didn't catch in the initial one, and Jared pointed out. Just have a look at this. Weight perfect, looks away, invites Hickman onto a one touch cross goal. Yeah, listen, he was, he was outstanding. The, the first 60 minutes of the game, he was the best player in the pitch by a country mile. He was absolutely, you know, fantastic. He, he was everything that Pats needed to be tonight. Um, and, and he was the, the main one at the front of that. Yeah, now we've spoken about the passing ability of Paddy Barrett, short and long. He's been in brilliant form this season. But Bowes got back into the game through Ross Tierney. We've seen how bright Ross is as well. Of course, he's going to go off to Motherwell shortly. And he was bright here to rob this one a go and nutmeg Yaros to make it 2-1. Yeah, and, and listen, at that stage, Jamie, there was probably six or seven minutes after, maybe even a little bit more after, after Pat scored. And it's just... It's so uncharacteristic from Paddy. He's just, you know, probably a little bit of a slip, a lack of concentration. He's just giving it to Ross Tierney, and in fairness, it's a good finish from the kid. Uh, and it just probably allowed Bowles to get back into the game at a time that they needed something like that because they weren't really troubling, uh, from, you know, Pats up to then. And it's just, listen, it happens. It's a, it's a little error from Paddy. As you said, he's been fantastic all season. It's a great finish from him, and it just opened the door a little bit from Bowles to get back into the game. Yeah, we saw a promise on a share, of course, score in the Ryan McBride Brandyweld, but Bohemians won up on Friday. That game ended 1 1. And with Georgie Kelly, 20 goals in the league this season, currently out injured, you know, Bowles will be looking for someone to possibly fill that mantle if needed to play as a striker. And he scored with almost his first touch, having come off the bench. Yeah, he did. And again, I go back again, this, and I'm used the word all night, Jay. It's uncharacteristic from, from Pats, from a set piece. We just, you know, we've looked, you know, dangerous in the opposition box this season and looked so secure in our own box. And it's it's a good delivery in, and it's just kind of missed everyone. It's one of them. It's a little head on it. And he's just got ahead of, of Melvin Lambert and, and kind of put it into the net from two yards. We had no chance, and they just carried on from from the first goal from 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 the error from Paddy that they just they, they brought that momentum into it. Yeah, and you could see, you know, towards the end, both sides as well really having a go in the last half an hour, end-to-end -end stuff, chances, fouls, yellows. It really, really was a fantastic advertisement for the league.